bottom-up nanotechnology. Perhaps the most intriguing avenue of science today. Why? Because look at Darwinian evolution created us, mankind, humankind. How? A process of random interaction between individual molecules and atoms that became more and more complicated systems. Each of those systems had degrees of freedom to act without a particular uh, script and explore combinations that could not have been foreseen creating us. We are trying to replicate nature. Take molecules and atoms, give them a proper framework, unleash the power of randomness to create nanotech products, which will surprise us if this formula will work here. Now, for a perspective, ancient people thought that the world is, uh, is a random act of, of a divine entity which if it wakes up in the morning in a good mood, it does good things, bad mood, bad things, no order. Then science came about and said, no, there is order. Newtonian physics show that the three little formulas explain things close and far, galactically far. But then came the 20th century and taught us about quantum physics, saying, at the bottom of things, physically, there is randomness. So right now, we are trying to come up with some kind of uh, balance between the order of science and the power of randomness and chaos. And that's what the field of uh, bottom-up nanotechnology is trying to exploit. With that perspective, we need to take a look at something that we thought we know everything about, and that's fluids. Why fluids? Because unlike solids, where the atoms are placed, latched in a lattice, in a fluid, the constituents, the atoms, the molecules, have degrees of freedom. And when they exercise those degrees of freedom, Many things happen. And so we need to look at fluids again. Right now we have two models for fluids. The discrete model, which we, uh, where we use statistical mechanics, and the uh, uh, continuity, continuum model, where we use some bunch of differential equations to describe fluid. But we need to look further. The unique macro effect of fluid is that unlike solid, where momentum is one direction, mass times velocity, momentum is one direction, in a fluid momentum has a migration in the two other directions, in the y and z direction. And that's what we are about to explore next time around.